Yo, what's the crap, bro? I just thought this idea for a video. What would a championship this season mean for these superstars' legacies? It's mainly teams, but, you know, you, you'll see when we go in. Obviously, a championship's, you know, somewhat the most important part of a player's legacy. You know, depending on the player, you know, Robert Horry is not the greatest of all time. Bo Russell, rest in peace, is not the greatest of all time. Bo Russell's definitely, you know, top seven, top five, maybe, whatever you, you decide. But there's some players where, you know, you know, it's a bit... I mean, it's not the same as just like. I mean, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. You understand? You understand what I mean? So the first team I want to talk about is the Lakers. Ever since LeBron got injured, you know they've kind of been on this thing. AD, by the way, wow. <laughs> Alfie Davis, I'm sorry for all the shit I said about you. I, I haven't said it publicly. I've just you know said it to my mates or said it to my like in my head like oh fucking hell, AD's fucked. <laughs> AD's back. <laughs> oh, AD's him. AD is definitely showing he's a top ten player. We'll we'll get into that in another video. What he's been doing so far, but. Anyway, first player I want to get into is obviously LeBron. In my opinion, by the way, this is all just my opinion. LeBron, after their shit start, 38, for however old LeBron is, year 20, and he wins a championship, probably, mm, I don't know if he'd win finals MVP. Obviously, like, I mean, it's kind of hard to predict the future and, like, kind of like that. Like, who'd win a final, finals MVP out of those three? Do you know what I mean? Let's, let's, say, let's just say he wins the finals MVP as well. Go. Go. LeBron, in my opinion, would be hands down the GOAT if he wins a championship this season. Four rings, four rings, five rings, tied with Kobe. Four MVPs. LeBron should have at least six or seven MVPs. Let's be honest now. If Boris fatigue wasn't a thing, people weren't sick of seeing the same. Like, Jokic. Jokic should have a better season than last season. He probably won't even win MVP. Which is like, Jeremy, you know I mean? it, it, it shouldn't really happen, but like, I understand it. I, I do understand it. The past four years, we've only seen two MVP winners, but like, Jeremy, you know I, mean? I don't really care about that. But LeBron, go hands down, all that he's achieved. And and he does that while he breaks Kareem's record. Go, hands down the go. I think AD would definitely solidify himself as a top 75 player. Personally, like talent-wise, yeah, I get. And he does have a ring. And he played a huge part in that, you know, ring that they got. So, like, I do get it. But this would be like, oh, yeah, hands down, he's top 75. Probably top 60, to be honest. Undoubtedly, it would be for AD. And it would definitely solidify. Also, we'll get into Westbrook, but LeBron and AD as a duo would definitely put him up there as one of the best duos ever, especially most talented. You know, they win two rings in the space of what three years. That would definitely put him in the you know one of the greatest duos of all time. And you know, it'd be a big what if. You know, obviously, if LeBron and AD did not get injured, you know, in the twi the season after they won in the bubble, they could be on three, and you know, if they get if they win the championship there, they don't trade for Westbrook. Do you know what I mean it's unlimited possibilities, but. It would dev, it, I think AD would probably benefit them. No, Westbrook would definitely benefit the most, but we'll get on to him. Russell Westbrook would benefit the most out of this. Triple double leader, OKC legend. Obviously, you know, 14. You know, if they won a championship this year, it'd be one of the best comebacks. What the fuck's on my neck? Is that a vein? God damn. It'd be one of the best comebacks off, you know, a superstar player we've seen. Four teams in four years. It looked like his career was done, and, you know, he wins a championship. Oh, that. Shit, man. We're only the first team in. I'm hoping Lakers win. Like, oh, that'd be such a good moment for Westbrook. The shit he's been through. The memes, the dead memes to be on Westbrook. Westbrook's the deadest, Joe. Like, come on, bro. You're 34 saying Westbrook. Get your fucking life together. But <laughs> Westbrook would definitely benefit the most. Hands down. Like, he already is a Hall of Famer, but this would be, like, top 30 player. I think we would definitely solidify Westbrook as, you know, top four, top five. I'm not, you know I mean? I'm not can't really think off the top of my head. I'm rambling, to be honest. I've not actually wrote a script. Trying to get better at rambling, so it's, it's just off the dome. But Westbrook easily top three, top four point guard. Top four, yeah, fuck no, it's too, too much brain power. But yeah, that's for the Lakers. If the Golden State Warriors win it, another team that's had a very bad start, you know, compared to expectations. Lakers, most people with smart basketball brains know the Lakers weren't actually going to be, you know, contenders this season. But you know, you never know. But Golden State, if they want another one, back to back, wow. Best dynasty in the NBA, hands down. I'll say that they will, they will be the they will be better than you know MJ's Bulls purely off the longevity. Obviously, yeah, the Bulls did dominate a whole decade, but oh fuck, man. Golden State, oh, fuck, that's a hard argument. Also, it might like the 2017, 2017 Warriors is better than you know any Bulls team, but dynasty because they like six to five, three, two free peats. Oh. <laughs> we'll get we'll get back on top but for Steph five rings possibly an MVP this season I don't know Steph 
Steph kind of has these slumps where, you know, last year, it was like this time last year, oh my God, Steph's going to win MVP again. Then he just had a shooting slump, boom, out of the MVP race. It could happen this season. I hope not because, you know, seeing him win an MVP again would be sick. But I think if Steph Curry won his fifth ring, best best point guard of all time, he, he automatically goes over Magic based off longevity as well. Obviously, Magic did so much great things in, you know, such a short period of time. But longevity is a big, important part as well. Same with, like, LeBron. I don't think I mentioned this point, but, like, 37, you win your fifth ring. Like, psh, psh, anyway. Clay, you know, that big three, that's one of the best trios best trio in the league you know just because you know they won all five you know robin and all that did not you know win all the five all six sorry <laughs> yeah draymond clay steph top three betting top three best trio of all time steve kirby one of the best coaches of all time Warriors, paul golden state Warriors would be the best modern day team you know yeah best modern day team in the nba slash sports you could say and steph curry i'll say it would be a top five player of all time. This is how it would go if Golden State wins. MJ, LeBron, Kareem, Kobe, and Steph. That would be my top five if, you know, the Warriors won this season. It can definitely happen. Steph Curry has, like, look at his, his accolades. He's going to, by the time he retires as well, like, yeah. To be honest, by the time Steph does retire, he probably will be considered a top five, top five player and over Magic. And the crazy part, if Golden State wins again this year, is that they can win again Jordan Poole, Kaminga, Kaminga. Oh, he's someone to watch. Jordan Poole, Kaminga. James Wiseman, who, to be honest, if it's looking rough at the trade deadline, I would just trade him for Miles Turner. You have to win now when, you know, this dynasty, you know, has, well, the, their main three players only have a year or two left after this season. So, you know, you got to go for the win now. But, <clears throat> I mean, I'm glad I'm not making that call, but Golden State has so much young talent. They know how to make a team. They have one of the best, they have the best front office in sports, probably. So yeah, they'd be dominating for a while. So it would just be better for the Warriors in general as a team. But for that trio, it'd be the best of all time. If Giannis won, he would be easily on pace to be the GOAT. He's like 28. When he, I think he's 27 still. I, to be honest, I don't know. But obviously when, if he wins a second ring by like 28, and how good he is, yeah, it's looking like he could be the GOAT. When did LeBron, I think LeBron won his like tw first one at 28, same with MJ. It'll be crazy. Obviously, Giannis is the best player in the world. That was undoubtedly, you know, help his legacy. I think, I think when the NBA released their top 50 for the 50th anniversary, Shaq got in, just based off how good he was. So, shit. Is it crazy to say Giannis would be a top 15 player? Does he overtake KG? He could overtake Dirk. Like, oh, there's so much questions. I, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm rambling off the dome, so I can't exactly think, but that's what it would be. Obviously, Giannis, we just have completed... Uh, he, he, like, he's already completed basketball. Well, he's completed the NBA. This was just like... It's just, it's just a nice side side mission, to be honest. Yeah, not much to say about Giannis, as he's still somewhat young into his career. The players I've really talked about are somewhat... Like, AD as well. But, yeah, I think Giannis would just be solidified top 15, top 20 at least. I'm not exactly sure where I'd rank him right now. I kind of need to see a list. Like, every great player. Or, like, the top 75, and just kind of order it myself. And, you know, add in other players. But if Giannis won, undoubtedly, you know I mean, best player in the world, uh, just a, such a dominant player. I, to be honest, I don't know what to say, to be honest. I can't, like, it'd be crazy to see him win another ring this young. And, it, like, the possibilities as well. He could, like, p pass MJ's rings. Next up is KD and Kyrie. KD would finally, finally lose the super team allegations. And it's KD as well. He will do it in some fashion where it's like, wow, <laughs> okay. KD wins this, und undoubtedly, you know, his legacy is no longer, I wouldn't say an asterisk, but do you know what I mean? The, the fake rings will be, also you'll have some fucking losers that will just be saying, you know, fake ring, like, do you know what I mean? Like, bubble ring, like, fuck off. You have these fucking loser versions that will just be saying, oh, no, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't count. But KD will have a real ring, which, you know, he already has two real ones. But, like, you couldn't say a thing after KD, you know, win the ring. And he'd be top 10. KD would hands down be top 10 if he won a ring on the Nets. Easily, easily. Who do you overtake? I think Wilt. I can't take Wilt. Oh. Who do you take out of the top 10? <sighs> That's a video for another day, but I think KD would have to be in there. One of the greatest, if not the best scorer. He's like one of those players that's just good at everything. The, do you know what I mean? The legacy, the greatness of Kevin Durant. 
and he wins a championship with the Brooklyn Nets. Top 10, top 10. Kyrie Irving. Oh, I'd be so happy for Kyrie if he won a ring. Like that, I have every player. It'd be well, it'd be Westbrook and Kyrie. Kyrie, you know, a, a ring without LeBron. J J I mean, Kyrie would be one of the best guards in the NBA. Or like talent-wise, he's one of the best. It would just solidify him. Did he make the top 75? Did Kyrie make the top 75? Surely. I have a bad feeling he didn't make it. Nah, he's got Ky Kyrie. No, he, he has to have made it. Top, easily, he, you know, he'd be easily top 50 after this. Top 40, whatever. Oh, he has to have made it. He had to have made it. Yeah, I'm not really much to say of Kyrie. Just probably top five shooting guard. You know, Kobe, MJ, AI. <sighs> oh, over hard. We're getting into you know Harden's on this list as well. So, oh well, yeah. I guess if Kyrie won, I guess you'd put him over. Oh, how can you put him over hard? Oh my. He'd easily like he's top six all time, still. But there would be an argument he'd be better than James Harden, or he's in that top five. Maybe even better than Dwayne Wade. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people are saying he's better than Dwayne Wade. We'll find out. If Jokic won the ring, he would be possibly in that conversation for greatest center of all time. I don't think people would give it to him, but he is probably one of the most talented centers in the league right now. No, off all time, sorry. And if he won, you know, a championship, he would put on a good display as well. High assists, good points, good, you know, percentages. You know what I mean? His career, his career you know, status would be going through the roof. He'd probably, you know, out of, you know, all-time rankings and like how he's viewed Jokic would probably benefit the most out of everyone if Embiid and Harden won a ring oh I hope they do that's my team the Sixers I hope they do we're getting to Harden first Harden top three shooting guard of all time I'm sorry probably bet yeah probably <clears throat> ah fuck man I think he'd be over AI it hurts to say AI would probably say that I think he'd be over Dwayne Wade just, I think he just would be over Dwayne Wade. Yeah, he's not. He's not breaking, touching Kobe or MJ. He'd be the third greatest shooting guard of all time. Definitely benefiting the most. His career, he'd be so much appreciated more. This man was hated when he was in Houston. I think you know people are starting to see and starting to appreciate what he did do in Houston. But James Harden's career just you know, you know I mean? when a player wins a ring, he's off the hook pretty, pretty much. So it would definitely benefit him the most. Joel Embiid won. I think he'd be the best player in the world, just because. You see the signs he's putting up. You see, when you watch him play, it's like, wow, okay, this guy this guy needs, like, some playoff success. Because, obviously, we've never made it past the second round. That's, do you know what I mean? That, that definitely hurts a lot, someone's legacy a lot. If we won the championship, NB would probably be considered the best player in the world at that moment. You know, whoever won, like, whatever. And, you know, he'd definitely be considered, what, a top three center of all time. It's pretty much the same as Jokic. You know, they're in the same, you know, boat. Whoever wins, you know, the career, you know, you know, how they're seen as a career which goes straight for the roof. I hope that does happen. Right, this last one. Oh, this, be, this, this is probably the perfect scenario. If Damian Lillard won a championship, that man would be the face of the grind. You think of the grind, you think of Dame. If you're on your grind to get whatever, you think of Dame. You think Dame would cause so much motivation for everyone on this earth. It'd be crazy. That'd be like the most uh, global impact one i don't know if you get what i mean but if dame won a ring on the blazers this season wow <laughs> wow people tell him to run he's he's there got the championship he's like people told me to run i didn't run from the grind oh man that'd be fucking phenomenal for him i can't lie and obviously he was on this top 75 list ah do i agree with that if Kyrie did make it and dame did i do not agree with that but he'd definitely be top 75 by now one of the most talented point guards we've ever seen be up there, and, you know, of all those point guards, he'd officially be in that, you know, pool of, you know, the best, greatest point guards of all time. That was my list. If you, if you would like to change it, let me know in the comments. If you like it, like it, see you later.